Okay, D.I. Von Briesen talking about the Moodle 194 gradebook. And I uh, just did a quick intro, so we'll jump right back into it. So an overview, your main view looks something like this. Categories and items is the main page we use to manage the different uh, percentages and ratios and categories and things. And this is the way this one is set up at the moment. I'm just going to the simplest mean of grades. And I'm starting out with a bunch of different graded items, but no categories or aggregation specified. Uh, scales is those kind of qualitative measures we can use, like separate but connected ways of knowing or proficiency. Yours will look something like that. Uh, letter grades, the default from Moodle when you first see it in your course is probably going to be a little more granular than this. I've narrowed it down so we just have 60, 70, 80, 90, and I, my cutoff is 89.99, for example, to, to be an A and so on. But those could be just 89.5 or whatever you like. Um, you've got import and export. Oh, by the way, to change this, you just click that edit here, and that will let you change those fields. Again, we have a slight delay here. Um, but once you've got that set up, you shouldn't really have to mess with it. Notice I am overwriting the site defaults. Otherwise, it'll be, I think there's an A minus, B plus, that sort of thing. Import and export, if you're into using Excel or tabular files or you have data from other sources, you can use those. I'm not going to go into those at the moment. Um, and then we have some general settings. And for purposes of this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to leave those all uh, as they are. Um, although a couple of them I may have changed already. So aggregation position, I believe, uh, defaults to the last. I'm going to set that to first um, because I like to be able to talk about it and it'll put it at the top of the list. But yours probably defaults to the last. I encourage you to uh, look at that. And that basically just shows where the sums will appear. Grade display type, again, the default is real, so I'll go back to that for purposes of this conversation. Decimal points, I'll leave it at one. I don't see that anyone really needs more than that, uh, but that's up to you. Wouldn't go beyond two. Um, and the as others, I'm just going to leave them as defaults. Um, overview report and show rank and things like that. Um, when in doubt, don't mess with it. Uh, remember my principles, ignore and explore. So when you need something, look for it, but if you don't, don't let it get in your way. Just work around it. So I'm going to jump over to my preferences. And by the way, if I change something, I probably should have gone to the save at the bottom, which I didn't. I believe I only changed one thing. I notice all these, I've got them just set to the default. So each of these has a meaning. You can click the little question mark to get help with it, but for now we won't worry too much about it. Just a couple notes. If we click show advanced here, it blows that out and you see some other options like do you want to show decimals when you show ranges uh, do you want to show column average you know there's all these different things and these each have different meanings depending on how you have it set up so when in doubt don't mess with it I'm gonna leave these as averages if there's something in particular you want to do come back here and check it out but it's also worth looking at this show show advanced hide advanced stuff quick rating quick feedback students per page I might just set that to say 10 if you have a big class, you might set it to 100. Um, that'll determine how many pages your gradebook is. Um, and then, again, the aggregation position. This seems to be repeating itself from the previous page. So I'm going to set that to first, report default, and then save that. And then just for kicks, I'll go back to settings and see what that other one is. And it says aggregation pos position. Uh, default is last. So this seems to be an inconsistency, um, but I'll leave them both at default and see what actually happens. And uh, it may just be a ghost in the machine. They didn't realize it was in both places, or perhaps um, one overrides the other. So I'll go back and look at preferences and scroll down there. And the aggregate position is report default last there. Okay, so that'll be the last. And so now you got it set up. Um, if you haven't already done work on your gradebook, leave it there, and then we'll come back and we'll start talking about categories and extra credit and that sort of thing.